A man and a woman meet in an elevator. Where are you heading today? The man asks. I'm going down to give blood. How much do you get paid for giving blood? About $20. Wow, says the man. I'm going up to donate sperm and sperm bank pays me $100. The woman angrily gets off the elevator. The next day, the man and the woman meet in the elevator again. Fancy meeting you again. Where are you off to today? Sperm bank, she says with her mouthful. My girlfriend came out of the shower and said, I shaved my pussy. You know what that means? I said, yeah, the fucking drain is clogged again. A guy asks, can I buy you a drink? And the girl says, sorry, but alcohol is bad for my legs. The guy asks, do they swell? The girl says, no, they spread. A guy walks into a bar with an alligator. It's about 10 feet long. The bartender flips out and says, hey, buddy, you gotta get that son of a bitch out of here. It's going to buy one of my customers and I'm going to get sued. The guy says, no, 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 it's a tame alligator. I'll prove it to you. He picks up the alligator and puts it on the bar. Then, he unzips his pants, pulls out his package, and sticks it in the alligator's mouth. The alligator just keeps his mouth open. After about 5 minutes, he pulls it out of the alligator's mouth and zips up his pants and says, See? I told you it was a tame alligator. Anybody else want to try it? The drunk down at the end of the bar says, Yeah, I'd like to try it, but I don't think I can keep my mouth open that long. A woman posts an ad in the newspaper that looks like this. Looking for a man with these qualifications. Won't beat me up or run away from me as great in bed. She got lots of phone calls replying to her ad, but met someone perfectly at her door one day. The man she met said, Hi, I'm Bob. I have no arms so I won't beat you up and no legs so I won't run away. So Liddy says, What makes you think you are great in bed? Bob replies, I rang the doorbell, didn't I? Man, I can't stop dreaming about my crush. Well, imagine this. You're home alone and your crush comes over to visit. Huh. Okay, okay, I can see it. She walks in your room and you're just sitting there. Uh-huh, I'm liking this. Okay, so she walks in front of you, takes her pants off, she's not wearing any underwear, and then she sits on you. Oh, wow. What a naughty girl. Yeah, okay. Don't get dirty on me. So she's sitting on you, and then she started shitting in you. Right then and there, you find out you're a toilet. I hate you. I fucking hate you. One day, an at-home wife is alone and the doorbell rings. She opens it to Chris, her husband's best friend. Hi, is Tony home, he asked. The wife replies, no, he went to the store, but you can wait here if you want. So they sit down, and after a while of silence, the friend says, you know, sir, you have the greatest breasts I've ever seen. I'd give you a hundred bucks just to see one. Sarah thinks about it for a second and figures, what the hell, a hundred bucks. She opens her robe and shows one to him for a few seconds. He promptly thanks her and throws a hundred bucks on the table. They sit there for a while longer, and the guy says, that was so amazing, I got to see both of them. I'll give you another hundred if you show me both of them. Sarah, amazed by the offer, sits and thinks about it and thinks, heck, why not? So she opens her robe and gives Chris a nice, long look at her breasts. A while later, Tony arrives back home from the store. The wife goes up to him and says, you know, your friend Chris came over. Tony thinks about it for a second and says, well, did he drop off the 200 bucks he owes me? You know, a dick has a sad life. His hair is a mess, his family is nuts, his neighbor's an asshole, his best friend's a pussy, and his odor beats him every single day. So there's this fly and he's flying 6 inches above a lake and well inside the lake there's a fish. And you know the fish is looking at the fly and says to himself, you know if that fly were to come down 6 inches I'd be able to get him. And you know off on the bank there's a bear and the bear's looking at the fish and he's looking at the fly and he says to himself, you know if that fly were to drop 6 inches the fish would get the fly. And you know the bear, he waits by the edge of the pond and waits for the fly to come towards his direction along with the fish. And behind the bear, just about 3 meters, there's a hunter and the hunter has his gun pointing at the bear. And you know, the hunter's thinking to himself, you know, I noticed that there's a fly above the water, and there's a fish in the water, and there's a bear by the lake. And the fly is starting to come towards the bear. So if that fly were to drop six inches, the fish would get the fly, the bear would get the fish, and I'd be able to shoot the bear and take him home for dinner. And you know, behind the hunter, there's this mouse, and the mouse is looking at the situation as well. And you know, he knows that there's a whole bunch of crackers next to the hunter, and he says to himself, you know, if that fly were to drop six inches, the fish would get the fly, the bear would get the fish, the hunter would get the bear, and I'd be able to get those crackers. And on top of a hill, not too far away from the mouse, there's this cat. And you know, the cat is also looking over the situation and he says to himself, You know, if that fly were to drop six inches, the fish would get the fly, the bear would get the fish, the hunter would get the bear, and then the mouse would get those crackers, and I'd be able to run down, get the mouse, and eat him for dinner. So, you know, do you know what happens when the fly drops six inches? Fly drops six inches, fish gets the fly, bear gets the fish, hunter gets the bear, mouse gets crackers, but when the cat tries to go and get the mouse, he trips, rolls over, and falls into the water. So you know what the moral of the story is? Every time a fly drops 6 inches, a pussy is sure to get wet. 
this newlywed guy is going away on a business trip for three weeks, and he doesn't want his new bride to get lonely and mess around while he's gone, so he stops by a sex shop in town. He looks around and sees lots of dodos, sex dolls, vibrators, and etc, but nothing that would keep his wife occupied for three weeks. So he asks the clerk, who happens to be the store owner, and though at first the clerk says there's nothing there that would keep a person satisfied for that long, after some badgering, he finally pulls out a black ebony box with a gold clasp from underneath the counter. All the while sharing the newlywed that's not for sale, being a family heirloom, and a priceless sentimental value. He opens the box, and inside is an apparently normal dodo. The newlywed guy is unimpressed, but the clerk interrupts. Let me demonstrate, he says. He looks at the box and says, Voodoo Dick! The door! And the Voodoo Dick jumps into the air, floats over to the door, and starts fucking the door hole like crazy, pounding away until the door cracks down the center. Finally, the clerk says, Voodoo Dick! The box! and the voodoo dick flies back into the box. With some difficulty, the guy convinces the clerk to sell it for $200,000. When he arrives home, he gives his wife the box and says, just open it and say voodoo dick, my pussy, if you ever get horny, all right? So he leaves on his business trip, and by the third day, the wife is getting pretty horny. So she opens the box and says, voodoo dick, my pussy, thinking the whole thing rather ridiculous. After about 15 minutes, she has had several orgasms and is starting to get tired, so she tries to pull the voodoo dick out. Apparently, her husband had forgotten to tell her how to turn it off, so she puts on a dress and starts driving to the hospital. About halfway there, the voodoo dick is pumping weight her and she starts having multiple orgasms and so she swerves a bit over the yellow line. The police officer happens to be behind her and pulls her over. As the cop stands at the window, she's sweating her face is buzz and she's screaming all over as the voodoo dick goes at her. The cop looks at her for a second and says, Lady, how many drinks have you had tonight? She says quickly, Officer, I swear I haven't had anything to drink. There's this voodoo dick going at my pussy and I can't make it stop. I'm on my way to the hospital to have it removed. The officer thinks about it for a second, gives a smirk and says, Ha! Buddha dick my ass, lady. <laughs>